welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all of my favorite nude liquid lipsticks, glosses, and lip liners. Also, I have a few actual lipsticks that come in a bullet. I feel like people don't use those very often anymore, but I have a few to show you. So I'm really excited for today's video. I feel like every time I wear a nude lip, which is like 99% of the time, people ask me what I'm wearing. So I figured, let me sit down and recommend to you guys a few of my favorites and share them with you. So if you guys were interested in this makeup look that I'm wearing today, I did go ahead and film that video. I actually just filmed it before this video. So if you guys are interested and if it's already up on my channel, I will link it down below in the description box for you guys to check out. And yeah, we're going to jump into the video. I have quite a bit of lip products to talk about, so we are going to jump in. Before we get into the video, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see my favorite lip combos when it comes to nude lips, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I figured I'd go in order the way I apply my lip colors. So we're going to start with lip liners first. So the first lip liner that I wanted to mention to you guys is the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner. This one is in the shade Handbag Ho. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you already know that this is one of my favorite lip liners of all time, you guys. This lip liner actually was limited edition. It came out with the Coco Collection that Kylie Cosmetics did. And you know, her collections are always limited edition. So I did order this for that collection when it launched. And you guys, I was obsessed. By the time I went to order another one, they were gone because like I said, it was limited edition. But recently, she actually launched it in a lip kit, which I know it's kind of a bummer because if you want to try the lip liner, you can't get the lip liner as a single product. You have to purchase the lip kit. Honestly, that really did annoy me. I feel like she should have just launched the lip liner again, but it is what it is. So I did go ahead and pick up a few more. I actually picked up three more because girl, I cannot say enough good things about this lip liner. This is the color it looks like right here. I actually went ahead and swatched it for you guys. It's just a beautiful brown lip liner and I do actually have one of the lip kits right here in front of me. This is the lip kit that it's actually gonna come in. So it comes with a liquid lipstick and a lip liner. Um, and again, the shade is Handbag Ho. It is just so beautiful and it goes with every single nude lipstick, you guys. It gives you the perfect definition. Well, for my skin tone, it gives me the perfect definition that I need. It's not too dark, not too light, but it really just outlines my lips really pretty and really makes them nice and plump. So I highly recommend you guys try it if you are looking for a good lip liner and don't mind splurging on the lip kit. Okay, so the next lip liner that I wanted to mention to you guys is actually one that I've been wearing very, very often. Let me tell you, this is probably the product that I have been wearing in all of my most recent tutorials that I've been doing. This is the KKW Lip Liner in shade Nude Number 2. This is what it looks like right here. Her lip liners are amazing, you guys. Super creamy. They do not took on the lips. The formula is phenomenal. And this color specifically is such a winner for me. And it's so funny because I'm swatching these for you guys and they look so similar, but they are different at the same time. Okay, so this first swatch over here is the Handbag Ho from Kylie Cosmetics. And this second one over here is the Nude Number 2 from KKW. And they do have a slight difference to them. I actually feel like the KKW one is a little bit more pigmented. I don't know if it's just me or if I swatched it wrong, but that's going to be the second one right here. And they're both just absolutely stunning. I feel like the KKW one is just a little bit warmer. It's more like a chestnut brown. Um, that's like the best way that I can reference it to a color. It's just really beautiful. It's also the lip liner that I'm wearing today along with the lipstick that I am gonna mention later on in the video. And like I said, in a lip liner, I really look for something that's gonna give me beautiful definition but not be too dark. So this one is just perfect for me. So I highly recommend it if you guys have not tried them and you can actually get these lip liners at Ulta Beauty if you guys were interested. Obviously, we can't go out right now but you can get it on the website. Okay, so the next and last a lip liner that I wanted to recommend to you guys is the Morphe lip liner in the shade Sweet Tea. This one is super, super popular. I feel like I've seen every influencer on YouTube talk about it. I've seen it all over Instagram for good reason. It is just 
beautiful. This is a lighter brown. Um, if you guys are a little bit lighter in skin tone than I am, you would probably like this one a little bit better than the KKW one. And of course, lip liners are usually a personal preference, so it's just how much definition you're looking for. So this is Sweet Tea right here. Again, the middle one is nude number two from KKW Beauty. And then the third one over here is the Kylie Cosmetics Handbag Ho. So these are the three lip liners I highly recommend to you guys if you're looking for a new one. They look so similar, but I'm telling you guys, they are very different on the lips and also keep in mind everyone's lips has its own pigmentation and everyone's lips is kind of like a different color so I don't want to say that the way it looks on me it's going to look on you so if you guys wanted to try any of them the cheapest one is definitely going to be the Morphe one these are amazing and the price is out of this world so I would definitely try this one first because they're kind of in the same color story if you will so I'm pretty sure if you like this one then I would go ahead and splurge on the other two if you were unsure um, and then I think you would love those as well so that was everything as far as lip liners we are going to move on to lipsticks that come in actual bullets okay so the first lipstick that i wanted to recommend to you guys is actually the one that i'm wearing today this is a maybelline lipstick this one is in the shade beige babe it is a matte lipstick but you guys it's super comfortable and i don't know if you can tell by seeing on the screen but it's not drying and it doesn't dry out your lips it's more like a velvet matte it's very smooth it's very comfortable and i love it and the number for reference on here is 545 and I'm going to swatch it for you guys so you guys can see. I do still have the lip liners on my hand, but I want to swatch this for you guys. It's a really pretty pinky nude. It looks more brown on my lips, but that's only because I'm wearing the KKW lip liner. But this is the lipstick right here. It is really pretty. It's such a beautiful nude, and I really love the undertone in this. And like I said, it doesn't give you much shine, but it's not super, super matte where your lips look crusty and like raisins, if that makes sense. So it's really beautiful and super comfortable. And if you guys are looking for some affordable lipsticks, check that one out because it is bomb. Okay, so continuing with Maybelline, I have one more lipstick from them. This one right here is called Baddest Beige and the number on this one is 050. I am going to leave all of these lipsticks down below in the description box so you guys can reference there just in case you want to pick any of these up. But this is what the packaging looks like right here. So this one is not a matte though. This one has a shine finish and this lipstick right here makes your lips look so beautiful and so juicy. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. And this right here looks like you're actually wearing a gloss over it when you're not it's just the lipstick itself so here's the lipstick right here I don't know if you guys can even see the shine I feel like the camera is not picking it up at all but oh there you go you can see it a little bit it is really pretty very similar to beige babe but it's a little bit more on the peachy side and you guys this over a liquid lipstick is beautiful if you put on your lip liner a little bit of liquid lipstick and you feel like your lips are a little bit dry put this over it and it is beautiful like I said it looks like you're wearing a gloss but it gives you that extra color because it does have color to it and it is just beautiful you guys okay so I went ahead and applied a little bit of that lipstick and as you guys can see it's just really really beautiful it gives you such a beautiful shine to the lips and it looks like I put on a gloss but I didn't it's actually that lipstick from Maybelline so these two lipsticks from Maybelline I would highly recommend if you guys are looking for a good drugstore affordable option okay so the next lipstick that I want to talk about I actually forgot about this one this is newer to my collection this is the artist couture angel baby lipstick and you guys how luxe is this packaging they're very very beautiful and I I love this lipstick it, it is a cream lipstick it's called a silk cream and this color is very pretty it is a peachy tone so if you guys like those peachy tone nudes this one is beautiful and like I said all these nudes that I'm showing you guys are actually very very pale but that's because like I said I always use a darker lip liner so for me I'm able to put this in the center and for it to look just like what I'm wearing today very pretty yet not too pale to where I look washed out so that one is another really good one these are also fairly new News, so you can get these on the Artist Couture website and they're also now on Sephora's website so you guys know Sephora is having their sales so definitely pick this up if you guys want to try a really pretty nude lipstick the formula is amazing so I have oh I actually have one more this one here I was wearing non-stop at one point you guys it is really pretty and super comfortable if I'm gonna be wearing a matte lipstick that comes in a tube rather than a liquid lipstick I need it to be comfortable this one here is the KKW lipstick in 90s style and you guys this lipstick is beautiful I think I featured this lipstick in one of my favorites but this is what it looks like right here I really love the clear packaging on these lipsticks they're very beautiful and I'm gonna swatch it for you this one's also a peachy nude kind of color and I feel like all of these look the same on my hand but I promise they're different so 
Here's the KKW one right here. You get so much pigment on these. It is ridiculous and I'm absolutely in love with this shade, you guys. This color right here with the Handbag Holo Lip Liner from Kylie Cosmetics is a match made in heaven. So beautiful and like I said, it's a matte but it's more like a velvet matte. It's very creamy and it's not too drying on the lips and I really, really love it. I think... I just want to make sure. Yes, those were all the actual lipsticks that I would recommend to you guys. Those are all my favorite nudes. So we're going to move on to liquid lipstick. Okay, you guys. So the next category that I want to talk about is liquid lipsticks. And I don't have many. I only have three to share with you guys today because once I love a liquid lipstick, I tend to stick to them and I don't really try anything else. So I have three for you today that I would absolutely recommend with no hesitation. The first one is no surprise. It's the Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipstick in the shade Nakey Nakey. You guys, this liquid lipstick has been my go-to and I've been wearing it in most of these tutorials that I've been posting and I really, really love it. I'm going to swatch it for you guys so you guys can see the shade. It is like my perfect nude, you guys. It is so pretty. It's not too pink. It's not too peach. It's like a perfect brown nude. And you guys, this with any of those lip liners that I mentioned is like a match made in heaven. It is so beautiful. So here's the liquid lipstick right here. It's so pretty, you guys. It's like a... I want to say like a super neutral tan if that makes sense it's not too peachy it's not too pink it's like the perfect happy medium and this is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks in my entire collection and I love it I always have a backup of this no doubt about it because girl I cannot run out of this and as you guys can see I don't know if you can see the bottle but there's already a little bit of space in there where you can see I'm actually finishing this container already so this one is for sure for sure a must have. The next one I want to talk about is the Morphe liquid lipstick this one right here is in the shade Aversion this one is also very beautiful this one is more of a pinky nude very pretty. I'm going to swatch it right next to Nakey Nakey so you guys can see the difference in color. Okay, you guys. So this one right over here is Virgin from Morphe. And again, this one here is Nakey Nakey from Laura Lee Los Angeles. So you guys can definitely see the difference. This one here is more of a pinky nude. This is more of a tan beige if that makes sense and they're both really really beautiful they both look super beautiful with a really pretty brown lip liner depending on the makeup look that you're wearing i think that it would look stunning so i would definitely recommend those two they're absolutely beautiful and then the last liquid lipstick that i want to talk about is one that i will never ever not have in my collection it is so beautiful and the formula on this is amazing actually the formula on all of these are amazing they're all very different too the Laura Lee one is more of a mousse consistency just like the one I'm going to be talking about now and the Morphe ones are more like a thin watery consistency if that makes sense um but the next one I want to talk about this is the Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade Fair Game you guys this liquid lipstick is absolutely beautiful and I love love the formula on these I also love the applicator I want to show you guys the applicator on these. So here's the applicator on them. Super, super fine. It has like that pointed triangle tip to it. So if you're someone who actually doesn't like to use lip liners, you don't need to with this actually because it's actually very easy to get like right in your cupid's bow and they're really, really comfortable like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one as well for you guys. And these actually all look different, which is great because I feel like all my lipsticks look the same. So this one right over here is going to be the Fair Game from Smashbox. It's very pretty. It's more of a peachy nude. Again, this one here is going to be version from Morphe. This one here is Nakey Nakey from Laura Lee Los Angeles. And of course, the last one is Smashbox Fair Game, which is also very beautiful. So those are three that I recommend. Love the formula. So even if you guys want to venture onto different shades in these particular liquid lipsticks, definitely check them out and I do recommend them. These are just the shades that work best for me. Okay, you guys, so the last category that I want to talk about is lip gloss, which is actually a bigger category than I thought. I didn't even realize that I love these many glosses, especially because I'm more of a matte lip kind of girl, but lately I've been venturing out into glosses and these are the ones that I would highly recommend. The first ones that I want to talk about are the Buxom glosses. You guys, Buxom glosses are probably Probably one of the best glosses on the market besides the Fenty gloss bomb Fenty glosses are definitely one of my favorites um, but these here are the buxom glosses and these are actually gonna be plumping lip glosses so if you haven't tried them before they have a really nice minty sensation when you apply them to the lips so they're not gonna be any burning or tingling they're gonna be nothing like the Too Faced lip injection if you have used that before you know that stings 
like hell. I would never use that ever again. Um, this actually just has like a nice mint sensation. It does not tangle or burn your lips at all. So the three colors that are my favorite are going to be a Blushing Margarita, Dolly, and White Russian. I am going to go ahead and swatch all three for you guys so you guys can see what they actually look like. So this one right here is Dolly. The second one over here is White Russian. And then the third one on this side is Blushing Margarita. So they're all very different in undertone. They're all very beautiful. I will say that if you guys do not like a sticky gloss you will not like these these are gonna be sticky these are one of the glosses that if you're wearing your hair loose outside on a windy day your hair blows it's gonna get stuck to your lips it is a sticky gloss but I will say that they do last all day they're very comfortable they're not too sticky to where you put your lips together and you get like that glob or like string of gloss it's not like that but they are sticky those are the three from buxom that I would highly recommend I love their formula I also wanted to mention that these are the full-on lip creams they also have the full-on lip polish one formula has glitter in it the other formula just has a really beautiful high shine which is the one that I recommend okay so the next gloss that I wanted to talk about is the Joseph colors lip gloss this one is the shade can you not it's a beautiful nude gloss like all the other ones that I'm talking about these are really comfortable this is what it looks like right here it's more of like a beige gloss but it's really beautiful and this on top of a super pale liquid lipstick is very stunning especially on top of Nakey Nakey or on top of Smashbox Fair Game it is a very beautiful makes for a super beautiful combo and I really love this one Dose of Colors has some amazing glosses if you guys have not tried their glosses definitely try them but Specifically, Can You Not is such a beautiful shade and do you guys see the high shine on there? These glosses are not going to be like the buxom ones where they just give a wash of color. This is going to be very, very pigmented. So if you're not into pigmented glosses, you are not going to like this one. Okay, you guys, so we're finally at the end of the video. I have only two more glosses to talk about. Both of these are going to be from Wet n Wild and these are their Mega Last Liquid Cat Suits High Shine Lipstick. And I have two shades for you. I have the shade Set New which I will swatch for you. This is what the packaging looks like. These glosses are actually very pretty, very comfortable on the lips, and they're just super affordable, you guys. These are also going to be a gloss that's like a liquid lipstick formula, but a shiny formula, if that makes sense. So they're super, super, super pigmented, you guys. This is not just a sheer gloss. So this one right here is the shade Sen Nudes. It's a beautiful brown lip gloss. And then, of course, I have more of a paler nude, which is the shade caught you bare naked and this one is absolutely stunning as well whenever I'm doing like a super pale nude and I want to add a gloss on top I'm usually adding this one it's very very pretty even this one just on the center of the lips is really beautiful so here is caught you bare naked and then this one over here is send nudes very beautiful and very different um so they are going to give you a completely different effect if you guys of course like more of a pale nude definitely check out this one and if you like more of a brown nude definitely check out this one both very beautiful and like I said the formula on these are amazing and if you like a super super shiny lip gloss you're definitely gonna enjoy these and girl they're wet and wild so they're very affordable I think these are about five dollars each and they're amazing so of course I'm gonna link these down below as well and that was pretty much everything those were all of my nudes that I currently recommend of course in the future it may change or I may try one that I love and it'll become a part of this collection that I have I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful I hope you guys found some lipsticks or glosses that you want to pick up or some nudes that you guys want to try and yeah that was everything for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it and again thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye